What's up everyone? Welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I am your host Chris Jones and uh, yeah we've got the boat out today. Surprise surprise I know. Actually going to take my dad fishing later and uh, so I just kind of gave it a quick little overhaul with the um, pressure washer and uh, blew out some uh, pine pine needles and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna rig up. So uh, several several videos ago we started making some lead lures okay so some wire baits so this is a homemade swim jig and uh, I kind of did a, a color match on this uh, ecto crawl that's the uh, AI molds ecto crawl there so uh, the lake that we're going to it's it's like a lot of lakes around here it's a natural eutrophic lake lots of grass lots of pads and the main forage is shiners and bluegill it's not really a shad lake at all so the trusty alabama rig is not going to get any play time today but stuff like this is another thing i do a lot of is frog fishing this is the uh, ai atomic toad right there then this is my custom frog mold we call it the florida frog uh yeah so i'll be throwing a lot of frogs probably and uh my dad likes to throw a white frog a lot um and then of course i have some craws and some other things some of these are store-bought like that right there is gambler that's gambler lures so yeah it's uh it's nice to just be tackle prepping again because that means we're actually going fishing yeah so uh before we go i want to show you all some recent worm hand pours here golly that just messed up all those tails yeah, check this bad cat out. Sort of a bullfrogish kind of green pattern, almost snake-like. And then the tail is sort of like a black and dark cinnamon swirl. So the colorant for that is this right here. Dark cinnamon. So yeah, lots of cool layering going on. Really, really pretty worms. There's a good look at the tails right there. And of course the whole worm is capsuled and filled in with white pearl to kind of boost the, the color. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And that's in the uh, old Delmark 10 inch worm right there. Look at this little Happy Meal bass right here. About a pound and a half, little bullfrog color for the frog. That's probably a video bait from a while ago. Nice out here. This is fish number two. The first one was even smaller, so we're, we're not going to show him, but maybe we're on to a, a decent bite today. Well, y'all, not two casts later. You think he wanted that? Look at where that frog is. That's as, as the Florida frog. Yeah. That's as far down there as it can get. Beautiful, dark Florida bass. All right, we think Dad's on. I don't know if he's still He had one. We're going to go over there and see about it. He had that fish. Come on, four treks, get me over there. Oh, wrong way. All right, a long, skinny, beat up one. Just hammered me right there. Dad's fish got off, unfortunately. Got off lucky. But yeah, they're getting a little bit bigger. Boom, baby. Well, didn't catch a single thing on the swim jig. Just too thick. Too thick for the swim jig. Just kept getting it hung up, it kept getting trailers ripped off. Yeah. Old frog is what did it. All right, it is the next day. Dead on plastic shirt. It's not just a plastic, it's a lifestyle. And um, you know, I, I've always kind of laughed that dead on plastics would make a white t-shirt knowing that we're gonna stain it ruin it with all of our pigments come on guys um but hey we're gonna we're gonna make some stuff in it today and right now i am going for the impossible well not the impossible because i've done it before i'm gonna try to make my red belly sunfish uh pattern in the five inch mold and a ton of them you can see them all laid out here all right we have gotten a lot of the layers down so i'm gonna try to make 14 of them which means i have to pour 28 halves yeah buddy so as you can see i have a lot of plastic already down in all of these mold halves and um it's basically just a layered controlled pour of blue and sort of a dark green pumpkin 
all poured by hand and randomly like that on purpose. Once we kind of thermally blend those colors, it makes a beautiful, beautiful palette. So now what I have to do is actually layer down some black um, along the top, which kind of brings the whole palette of colors from light to dark towards the top of each mold. And then we will add the red bell, uh, excuse me, the orange bellies, because I like to make these sort of a light orange. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all a couple steps here. I uh, actually did a video on this color years ago, but a lot less refined than how I do it now. So this is what I like to call splotching. I'm just kind of dipping the plastic along, along the mold, and now I have sort of that black top along it, right? So, just like that. And that is something I have to do to every single one of those. All right, got all the orange uh, bellies poured in. You can just see they're, um, it's basically just kind of filling in the space there in the nose. So essentially it's a four layer pour. And um, hey, that's a lot when you do it 28 times. All right, those are finally topped off. Sort of a green pumpkin top. It looks real dark there on camera. But here are the four colors. Yeah. Those are the four colors of the layers. And uh, now I have to package a bunch of baits. So I got to mail out a lot of baits that have been poured over the last uh, week or so. Um, you know, I'm, you know, admittedly not the fastest dude to ship baits out, but whenever I'm doing these uh, larger swim baits, I really like to cure them for long periods of time. Some of these have been curing for almost seven full days. In fact, those may have even been in the last video. Um, but, you know, I just find it better to cure things full time. I mean, I literally up to a week. That way the customer doesn't receive baits that are all kinked, you know. So uh, anyway, we have a lot of stuff to bag up. I love the brown gizzard. Ugh, love that one. So anyway, we're gonna bag these up so that I can get these in the mail. All right, yeah, this is what my shop normally looks like before I clean it up for videos. But uh, we have some of those baits in there and drop in a sticker. Everybody deserves a good world's first fishing sticker. So. Yeah, these are uh, these are really cool. I was calling those blood minnow. Okay, let's see how we did. Drum roll, please. Dun 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 dun. Let's zoom in. Woo! Still a little hot. This is always one of my golly. Still very hot. You know what? Let me get a glove. Okay. This is always one of my favorite colors when it works out. Yes, it worked out. Sweet. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, beautiful. I absolutely love how those colors play. Orange belly. Yes. Oh yeah, with some Jetson blue squid eyes. That's going to be incredible. Let's open another one. See how it did. Oh yeah, good gosh, good golly Miss Molly. I love sort of how the black splotching adds so much depth because it's behind the blue and the green pumpkin. Mostly on top, but it's behind it. It's also behind the orange. So the layers, the order of operations, the order of the layers to me gives this one such tremendous depth and uh, let's, let's open one more. Let's clean it up. A little bit of overspill. Open one more on camera. Yeah. Beautiful. I love how they're also a little bit different at times. Right? You can just see the layers. Each one is unique, but it's a congruent pattern. Oh, y'all. All 14 came out so good. There it is. 
Yes. Heck yeah. So because of all of the blue in these, I like to use the uh, Jetson Blue Squid Eyes. Uh, actually, yeah, there it is in 10 millimeter, but I need to use them in the um, 8 millimeter, of course, for the 5 inch. So here they are back here, the 8 millimeter blue squids. Yeah, I think that always looks nice with that pattern. I've got several other things in 8 millimeter, um, including this page, but to me, the blue squid just matches that one so well. Yeah, all right, there it is. So after yesterday's fishing trip, we basically ran out of frogs. So I think I'm going to restock my frog collection. So that is what we're gonna be mixing up next. All right, so the color that we did best on uh, at the beginning of the video was sort of this bullfrog color. So we're gonna kind of make one of those and we're just gonna start with brown on one side and uh, we'll probably add just a touch maybe of green pumpkin just to give it like a little bit of green and then probably darken it up with some black so here's a little bit of green pumpkin just four or five drops and that'll give it a little bit you know because bullfrogs are like splotchy browns greens and blacks um so what we'll do is we will Darken this up with like a drop or two of black, maybe three. Let's go three. One, two, three. All right, and so that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll do for basically the top color of this frog. And then the bottom color is going to be more green pumpkin base, right? We want lots of green in it, All right? We're even going to add some of this kind of flow lime green. And then we're actually gonna lighten it up a little bit with some white. So let's kind of see where this gets us. Yeah, very, very, very bullfroggy. Already that's looking bullfroggy. Gotta use froggy voice, all right. Bullfrog, bullfrog. Yeah, nice and green. Sort of like a snot green. But then we're actually, oops, then we're actually going to brighten it just a smidge with some white. So, maybe two drops of white. All right. And there it is, basically. That's going to be our bullfrog. All right, here we go. Thinking this should look pretty good. This is my custom frog mold. I had this bad boy made in like 2014. And uh, I've been catching fish on it ever since. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's see how our frogs did. Okay, very brown. Hopefully that green side came out. Okay, yeah, there it is. All right, let's get them out. There we go. Nice, natural bullfrog color. We just have some um, sort of like some medium black flake in there just to give them that kind of splotch look. But yeah, super effective frog color. You can, of course, make a triple injection version of this. Uh, but this is more of a simple two color laminate and uh, to me those look really good and uh, so what we'll do now is we'll get out we'll get out the other one real fast show those to you yeah this is uh you know a lot of the lakes that we fish they they have that dark tannic florida water look to them but the water itself is actually very crystal clear it's really just the bottom of the lake that makes it look so dark. And so a lot of times uh, we, need, we need a real natural color. So, yeah, I think that passes the bullfrog test. What do you guys think? Yeah, there it is. Another round. Check those out. Beautiful. Yep. As much frog fishing as we like to do, uh, having a good supply of a good confidence 
and natural color. Uh, June bug is also one of my favorite colors. But in terms of like really matching what a bullfrog might actually look like to a bass, it's hard to beat a color like that. So that dead on plastic craw tube blend is perfect for those frogs. Um, you know, I like to throw my frogs in a lot of pads, um, a lot of slop, a lot of thick vegetation. And so you need a firm plastic that's really going to keep the hook point in the plastic um, to remain as weedless as possible. And uh, the craw tube blend is like the perfect durometer. It's very tough. It'll last multiple fish. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, it was really nice to get back on the boat again after... Uh, after it had been in the shop for so long and just uh, you know all the challenges of having two uh, young kids at home every weekend But uh, man, it was really nice to get out with uh, with my dad catch some fish But check these out There's something you don't see a lot It's the ginger ninja mold and this is sort of a I Guess you could call it like a white crappy pattern It's sort of got that kind of yellow and green pearl capsuled within a layer of clear plastic that has a couple different sizes for black flake to give sort of that splotchy effect and then some little silver flake in there as well right so they actually <laughs> they look more green from that side these were poured with a divider cup so basically I capsuled the mold let me see uh, if I can hold these with one hand there I basically capsuled the inside of the mold with the clear plastic with the uh, black and silver flake. And then <clears throat> inside that body, I just took the divider cup and did that gold and green pearl and then just filled in the tails with the uh, capsule color. So a real kind of simple, simple deal, but uh, definitely has potential. You know, you can do this in a swim bait uh, or a fluke and uh, make some killer, killer crappy patterns. So that's just one idea there but yeah the lighting was good out here in the backyard so we're down here by the boat looking at these uh baits all right there it is frog stash has been refilled so that's um that's what we have left over right there probably enough to get one more mold but i think we're gonna stop there and then of course there are the uh orange belly swim baits so anyway Hope y'all have enjoyed this bait blog. We kind of did a lot of things over the course of the of the weekend. And uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one.